So tell the people who you are and tell everybody where you're from. Uh, my name is David Money. That's David Money ENT on everything. I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. Um, hey, yeah. hey. Baltimore in the building, you know what I mean? Yeah. If you didn't know it um, before he said something, as soon as he said something, you heard it. So he's yeah, definitely. Yeah, no, sure, but you know, <laughs> say dude. Yeah. 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 He said, my name is David Money. Say two. Say two. You're not from here. So what made you want to come on to the Lick Morning Show? Hey, it was the best morning show in, uh, in Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I like to do. I like that. That boy yeah. do it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I had to hit y'all up, see what's up, and, you know, I'm here. Now, before we get into this interview, we want to get you in on a segment that we have called <laughs> the Lick Lesson. Okay. So yes. when you hear the lick lesson, what comes to mind? when you, The first thing you hear. The lick lesson. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm from Baltimore. I grew up uh, listening to a lot of Gucci and G's. So when you say lick, I don't know. Y'all not robbing nobody. Y'all not robbing nobody. So no, I don't, I don't even know. Y'all might fill we, me in. We might be. We might, you never uh, know. It's Atlanta. I don't know. <laughs> don't see what type of phone it is. I don't see. And it begins. <laughs> All right, so. The lick lesson is we give you a couple of words to say. You got to say them five times fast, and you got to say them five times fast correctly. Five times fast correctly. As fast as you possibly can say it. Okay. All right. So the first one we have is black bug blood. I feel like y'all only do this with people from Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Black blood. No. Black bug bug blood. blood. Black bug blood. All right. I got to get myself together. Bro. I'm trying to get Black bug blood. All right. Back, all right. <laughs> black bug blood. Black blood. All right, come on now. Why are you, why are you playing this game? It's too early in the morning. Let me do another one. Ready? Mm -hmm. Cheap. Mm -hmm. Sheep. Mm -hmm. Soup. Cheap soup. Treat. Cheap soup. Cheap soup. <laughs> I'm a rapper and this is bad. Oh, cheap, you're doing cheap, so good. Cheap, cheap, soup. Cheap, cheap, soup. Cheap, okay. soup. Right, I'm getting it. Cheap, soup, soup, cheap, 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 why do you go by David Money? I'm assuming your first name is David. First name is definitely David. Um, it'd probably be a little weird if it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, I just I've gone by David Money pretty much like my entire like I'm not gonna say adult life, like when I was since I was like, you know, an adolescent, 14, 15, like I've always just been a go-getter. Like, you know, I was in middle school selling candy and selling whatever I can find and I'm I'm out there finding like I remember me uh we had a joke in middle school, like me and my friend had caught a squirrel. And put it on a leash and sold it, and like they like, yo, you sell anything? Like it don't hold matter. On, hold on, go back. You can't just jump over that, bro. Like, yeah. like that was just normal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, found, yo, I mean, we do anything. Like in any way you can get it. If, you, if you want it, I get it. Somebody but I wanted a squirrel, so I caught the squirrel and I got it. And I first of all, what type of superpowers do you have to catch a squirrel? I was young, you know, I had a lot more energy back then. First of all, there is not a child that can catch a squirrel. Like, like, hey, look. Y'all are stuck that someone wanted a squirrel. Damn that. He said, I catch the squirrel. Like, that's the story. That's why that's why we should be I mean, interviewing. It was like a little baby squirrel. So it wasn't it, it squirrel wasn't squirrel. Oh my god. That makes it worse. It's a baby squirrel. They're faster and smaller. I don't know. You know, it just I just got it. Like, I don't know. And you're all right. And this is Man. normal for my boy because he's like, I, mean, like, I just like, got it. But y'all didn't say not only did he catch it, he, he didn't put, like, it, put it in a cage, he put it on the leash. <laughs> yeah, if you if you if somebody wanna buy a pet, they got a leash for it, so it's like I would have gotten papers, but I was too young. I ain't know him better. <laughs> so, Dude, I like that. Selling I like candy, selling squirrels. Other things than candy, you feel me? Like, gotcha. uh, you feel me? Just just being who I was always, it's like, it's not, it, it's never been about like I had a whole bunch of money or things like that. Because mm -hmm. trust and believe, I'm on a budget coming down here. Okay. <laughs> but um, no, it's just, I've always had that go getter mentality. No matter what I, uh, I need or what I have to do, I'm going to make it happen. Like, I don't care. What you have to what? What I have to do, what I need. <laughs> she got, I didn't even catch that. I'm like, okay, whatever, I, whatever I gotta do to make it happen, I'm gonna make it happen. Like, so everybody always used to call me David Money. Like, that's David Money. He always, you know, pulling up to something like. And they ain't gonna never forget you for that story. Yeah, I will that never story. Forget David Money. Yeah, that caught the world. Look, that's that's when we when when he leaves. That's what I'm gonna say. Hey, David Money, squirrel, squirrel catcher, catcher. Squirrel, <laughs> squirrel catcher. 
I'm the squirrel squirrel catcher. famous squirrel catcher, so, David Money. Right now, are you based in Atlanta or are you still in Baltimore? I'm based in uh, Earth. Got you. I'm bringing right now. Right now, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm worldwide. I'm, I'm based in Baltimore. You know, I live in Baltimore, but I'm literally somewhere every like week or two. Like, um, I do a lot of things uh, traveling to Cali, Vegas. Um, I love Atlanta. I love here. It's probably one of my favorite places mm -hmm. ever. Um, Texas, uh, New York, Philly, up and down the East Coast because that's right there where, where I am. So yeah. I'm just always traveling. Um, I've been played in Vegas. Um, did shows in Chicago, so I'm all over. So, Got you. So you here so, for a specific reason this weekend? Or are you just kicking it up? The Lick Morning Show. Oh, I'm yeah. 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 I, I, I drove down here thought. yesterday. When I leave here, I'm getting on the road, going back to Baltimore. That's it. what I'm saying. Yeah. And that's, I respect that. I respect I'm that. From Baltimore DMV, all of that. Yeah. So they're known for breeding like some of the best. Like they even like go go everything there. So tell me yeah. some of your uh, musical influences and when we listen to you, like. Who do, who we hear? Who you pull from? Um, a lot of my musical influences come from uh like New York rappers. I'm I'm a big fan. Like my favorite rapper of all time, of course, is Jay Z. Um, Jay Z, Biggie. I'm I listen to a lot of the old school still stuff still. Like I'm I'm stuck in like like anybody younger than me will sit there and be like, yo, what are you 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 an old head? What are yep, you listening yep. to? I'm like, yo, I'm not even old. Like <laughs> I'm still young, but I just like that old school sound. That that Biggie, the you know, uh, Nas. Like man. Lyricists. I like lyricists. Like, like, like if y'all listen to my music, y'all hear like yo, he actually spits. Mm -hmm. Eminem is one of my, my uh favorite rappers. Like you you can hear so in my basically going off your legends list. That's why yeah, I, yeah. exactly so you, we had to talk yeah. about legends. Okay. And so you're and saying everybody people, that I just named. It's with the exception you, of Biggie. With the except well, with the exception of Biggie, but yeah. that's just but but why, why Biggie not on that list? Why Biggie not on that list? <laughs> hey, but work out serious. All right, now lyrically, yes, lyrically, mm -hmm. he was in his own in, in in his own community. He will always be a legend. Mm -hmm. But in the music world, as far as body of work, as far as longevity, he's not a legend because he was taken from us too soon. So you one of them ones that say Nipsey not a legend? He's not. I actually did. I actually did. I said that like, like musically, he's not a legend. Now as far as what he's done mm -hmm. in the community and being the guy that he is, he is I a legend. Mean, but when it came to his music, when it came to his music. The majority of people, especially especially in Atlanta right now, they want to sit there and talk about they were bumping, they were bumping Nipsey. They didn't bump Nipsey bump until, until the Grammys. They found out, oh, this dude was nominated for a Grammy. They didn't that. go back. And actually, they sat there and say, oh, they listened to Victory Lap. I can tell you right now, they yeah. did nobody I mean, listen to Victory Lap until he passed. Yep. Yeah. I mean, some people, some people, now don't get real like The one thing I would say is, I literally, I was hurt when he died because I literally pulled up to my house bumping. Uh, uh, rap, you feel me? His song joint, yeah. and I'm I'm bumping it, getting the house, looking at my phone like Nipsey got shot. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. So I'm not gonna say that I was a diehard Nipsey fan. I literally had one of my friends that, I you know, my man's friend. I shout out to him because he's literally been telling me about Nipsey since like ninth grade. Right. He, and he's the only person that I knew that was like, yo, Nipsey, all money and da 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 da. And I never believed him. I, I was I wasn't a believer. Right. And then he started showing me more, you know, through through his work in the streets and things like that. So I agree with you. He wasn't. I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily say he was a musical legend, but a street legend, you definitely can't got given that. See, when, when it came to, cause like I actually knew Nipsey coming up because mm -hmm. like they was in the same neighborhood and everything else. Okay. So seeing his grind and everything else, yeah. And I feel kind of bad to know that, wait a minute, just, I seen this guy come up, grow up, and I never heard his music. With all honesty, it wasn't until Big Three Lap that I was like, wait, hold on, this one of my own? This, this, this from my own city? This is the little home. Okay. So then I started listening. I was we'll listening to Victory Lap. We're like, oh, now, oh, he's great. He's nominated for a Grammy. This album nominated for a Grammy. Mm -hmm. Went back on I, on iTunes and started listening to some of the old stuff, Slauson Boy, all that stuff. I was like, okay, well, this guy is though. So I'm 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 some of the few that's in there that <laughs> not after his death, but when he got that Grammy and he's his name started to come up there. It was like, wait, hold on. This is a guy making noise, and shout out to my homeboy Rashawn Williams, who actually put me on, was telling me about Nipsey, like maybe back in 2014. Okay. It was like, you should follow this is the guy, because he's from LA too. I gotta make one uh, side note, because they're going off on me in my live. When you asked me about my influences, and you talked about DMV and, and Go Go, they're all going off my live. Go Go is not Baltimore. That's specifically it? DC. DC. Yeah, we we do club music. We are uh, originated but it's club music. Not Trump, but it's like the D all of that is considered DMV, though, right? All right, let me just set the record straight <laughs> because there are not enough Baltimore rappers to do this. There, there's the DMV. Mm -hmm. That's DC, Maryland, and Virginia. Yeah, and then you have Baltimore. 
Baltimore is not included in the DMV, unfortunately, <clears throat> because we're our own breed. Oh. And, you know, so, so we're, cool, we're cool with the DMV, and we're starting to, like, mingle mesh a little bit, bit, mesh a little bit. But D.C. is, like, 45 minutes away. For the longest time, Baltimore and D.C. beef. Like, you ain't really. Oh when when we were flying, like, we were flying to DC. Baltimore, but we would drive, like, go back to D.C. So I just thought everything was right there. Yeah, so. Right. I just assumed it was like yeah, that's, that. Yeah, that's how pe most people, you know, just assume, like, you know, we, we all together, we all. You know, Baltimore, DMV, DC, right. da da da. Nah, they don't really rock with us like that. Yeah, we don't rock from, with I apologize. No, they cool. They, 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 they just was like, make sure, <laughs> you know, make sure you know that we ain't got nothing with no go. Influence. I'm like, all right, I got you. I got you. Go, go, Chuck help Brown. them. All right. So, speaking of music, let's get into your song. Um, You want to introduce it to us? Uh, What we have here is uh 2020. And you know, it's David Money Rock when it's 92.3. What's your music? Tell everybody, because I know I got to get it too now, like for real, for real. Where can they find you? Where can they get all your stuff at? All right, so my name is David Money, David Money ENT on all social platforms, on everything. Um, I'm on every streaming service available. I'm on Apple Music, iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, uh, every, every, <laughs> everything you can find music on, I'm on. So make sure you get it now. I got two projects out that are. Um, a little bit old. I took I took last year off to uh, really get my life in order. I had to get my family in order, make sure That's my right. parents was good. Um, they was going through some health stuff, so it's like I had to do a lot of stuff to get in order before I could jump back out there in the music industry. So now I'm 100% back, full fledged. I dropped 2020 as like my my debut single, but every month this year I'm dropping a single, a new song, and a new video every month. That's um, dope. And I'm gonna have surprises within the months too, like. Um, shout out to Remix God Sway. He just he threw up the video on his gram. Um, I had a bunch of people. Shout out to ATL Top Twenty. DJ Calvin been showing me mad love, so it's like big shout out to him. Calvin the Coordinator. Calvin the Coordinator. That's my dog. Yo, he, yo, he the big boss. You know, he he makes moves. He makes things happen. Yo, so I, I, big shout out to him. That's my dog. That's my people. Dope. Yeah. Nah, that when you just said that about a video, a single, a month, or whatever, I I respect that because anytime you want to perfect your craft, you got to keep doing it, mm -hmm. and anytime yeah. you want to be known, like you gotta you gotta push it out. And now one of my favorite rappers said, um, he was like, if I do this. Or one, his thing was I'll do it once a week for 10 years then in 10 years if I haven't achieved what I want to achieve then then you know at least I can say I tried so to see somebody else who but you're an independent person like saying okay I can I'm gonna do this once a month and I'm gonna do it and then see where it goes like bro like I tip my hat to you for real I appreciate that I appreciate shooting that shooting a whole video and everything yeah like, that's and like, it's just not just putting a song out or like let me go on live and do this real quick but a video too oh yeah I mean, people I, don't understand the money and stuff that go in the time and effort so I, I respect that oh man. yeah I mean I have, I'm fully 100% self invested self managed self for everything that's like right. so the studio time producers uh, you know coming down here traveling expenses yeah. putting gas in the car right. staying somewhere all that yes. You know, people don't don't take that into consideration, but it's like it'll pay off in the end. Yeah. I believe in myself so much that I will I will go into debt. I was gonna say I would spend my last dime. Forget my last dime. I will go into debt, yeah. Yeah. pushing my dream and chasing what I what I what I want to do. Right. You can make any hit, any hit, featuring any two artists. Okay. Past, present, dead or alive. Who would it be? Jesus is not one of them. <laughs> Alright, that's a tough one. Two, any two artists of all time. Yep. Dead live. Dead of alive. Any genre. Of any genre. Alright, I mean, if we really going to just do that, then I'm just going to keep pick Michael Jackson and Prince and just make a hit song. Ooh. Like, no, that's right. I'm not worried about rap music. I'll make a hit song with Michael Jackson no, and right. Prince and make millions. Don't be vegan at all. <laughs> You know what? That's that the first a, combination of those two a, that I've heard. Like, oh, just think about that. I don't, I've never heard a Prince and Michael Jackson song. <laughs> like, said, ooh, never. Right? So that is mm. dope. That's, that's, a that, dope that's, a, that's almost the best dope answer that I've ever had, that we've ever look, had I, on look, the show. Can they yeah. come up a little bit so they can go on and make that happen? <laughs> like, <laughs> can y'all like, visit is, us for a day or two? Question, man. Who, who, who's your favorite Baltimore rapper? All right, before I answer that question, can y'all tell me y'all answer? No, I'm asking you because no. I saw it on your Facebook. I can't, I can't. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. My favorite rapper from Baltimore, David Money. My man. <laughs> I got that on camera too, so I'm letting you know. Oh, look, look, look. You want to know who mine is? Who? David Money. <laughs> you know who mine is too? Who? It's definitely not her, but it's this guy right here. David Money. You not Young and Maybe. David Money. 
somebody in my life said, and, and this is no disrespect to Young and May, because I do not want that beef, but somebody said no. the only reason y'all y'all think she's from Baltimore is because she, she reminds y'all of Snoop from The Wire. Uh, you know what? Okay. Who, like, who, who said that? My man's Je uh, Hefe Jeff Rice. Hefe, Hefe, wait, Hefe, 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 like, Hefe, Hefe, Hefe Jeff Rice. Yeah, Jeff Rice. Hey, you bro, you are absolutely right. You, yep. you are absolutely right. That's who she does remind yep. me of, and I do put her like when I think about that. That is why I, yep. you're absolutely right. And yeah. shout out to him. He's one of my shooters. He does all my behind the scenes uh, shots and and shout his IG out. Shout his IG. Uh, yo, tag your IG again because I always get it wrong. But it's shot by Hefe. Shot by One Hefe. shot by Hefe. One shot X F E. So make sure y'all follow him because I butchered it. I had an interview at DTLR Radio the other day and I butchered it and I felt horrible because he was right there during my filming. Like, <laughs> I would put the camera down. Like, bro, no. Yeah. <laughs> and can I shout out my friend Cortez who was loving your music, David? He Appreciate said, you, Cortez. He said, first 48, but it ain't law and order. That line was fire. He's dope. I'll rock it. Oh, my man. Okay. okay. Yeah. Lyricist. Yeah. Yes. And That's shout out to Tip with Trip. She said it was bumping. Oh, you know, I came down here to work, though, but I also do custom clothing and, like, Custom anything, pretty much. So I do custom wall uh, decals, custom glass, custom car decals, shirts, hoodies, jackets, whatever y'all need, I can make it. And I have all my equipment here with me in Atlanta. Right now. Let's, let's that talk that about that real quick. quick. How important? I mean, I'm like, you, you, you the homie for real. How important Sorry. is it for you to have multiple streams of income? If you don't, what you doing? Yeah. If you get money, please, please tell me what you are doing. I said it to sound like. I mean, it's, it's not even about the money. It's about the grind and about about the hustle and about building wealth and freedom. Like, y'all have to get to a point where you're not trying to exchange your time for money. And the only way you can do that is if, you know, you got a, a whole bunch of different Because I've, okay. I've met a lot of artists who don't want to say that they do other stuff other than sing or other stuff other than rap, whatever. It's almost as if they are embarrassed that they have, like, a nine to five or another <laughs> hustle or something like that. So I, I need it. I'm happy. Guess what? Yeah. Nah. And Guess he got what? the equipment. Cups, plates, and he mugs, brother, whatever y'all need, I, I can do it. Guess what? Hold on. Yeah, y'all go nowhere. When it comes to the importance of having extra uh, different streams of income, Technically, it's set up for you too. And right now, how society is set up, it's kind of set up for you to sit there and, and, and step out and take out a drink. If you look at it, you have Uber, you have Lyft. There's a thing called bro, Amazon I Flex. You have in a jar. So, I, bro, I'm gonna do it all. I started doing man. Amazon Flex, and when I found out, <laughs> wait a minute, hold on, I can. I'm the Amazon guy that just drive his own his own car. Say less. <laughs> I take my breaks how I want to. I can do what I want to while I'm doing it. Yeah. So it's about you know what I'm saying. Like yeah, you need to. There you go. All right. All right. We thank you so so much for coming in. He Tell everybody nowhere. again where to find you. Yeah, he can't. Yeah, we we locking the door. He you, can't get out. We got five. We got five calls then. <laughs> David Money E N T on everything. Make sure y'all follow me. I follow back. Yeah, oh, you can and download the new single, you can stream it everywhere. Yeah, that's right. 2020. Yeah, he right. does follow back because I posted the minute I read the yep. minute I posted it, it was, hey, you got a new follower. Like for real. Like yeah. for real. <laughs> and then that's when I went. And then he like, reposted what I posted. Yep. Exactly. So you're kicking it with us the rest of the show. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, he'll be right back then. Lick show more the Lick Morning Show hits 92.3. <laughs>